It looks harmless now, but it could grow into something dangerous. Like the insane clown posse. Yeah, good one, Jerry. 2003 just called. It wants its easy target back. Hey, uh, uh, 1995 called. They want their certain year called wanting its blank back formula back. Why, Jerry? Why expend the effort? Life is effort and I'll stop when I die. Snuffles, we didn't mean you any harm. This is a huge misunderstanding. Dad, he wants to be called Snowball. Well, I'm not calling him that. That's ridiculous. You're being very aggressive, Jerry. Perhaps tomorrow, Dr. Scraps will solve that problem with a bit of surgery. Huh. You think you can control me with a haircut? Uh, Summer, Dad's leaving? Bye, Dad. If you're looking for our kids, your father did a, a portal. Uh, okay. Okay. What? Hello? Jerry, what the hell is happening? The galactic government collapsed. Are you okay? Look, I I'm not proud to share this, but the truth is I just kept crawling and it kept working. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Summer! Summer, listen carefully. I stole a paper clip and I have it in my cheek, but I don't know what to do with it and it hurts. You're going to be okay. You will come back oh as God. babies. Oh I am a baby. I'm a baby now. I wish that shotgun was my penis. If it were, you could call me Ernest Hemingway. I don't get it, and I don't need to. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything cool in here, Beth? It's fine, Davin. Okay, cool. You know, we did something great today. There's nothing more noble and free than the heart of a horse. Since we're fighting, if you ever have an affair with that guy, I will come to the hotel room and blow my brains out all over your naked bodies. I'm Mr. Crowbar, and this is my friend, who is also a crowbar. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah? Well, look where being smart got you. Jerry, thank God. God? God's turning people into insect monsters, Beth. I'm the one beating them to death. Thank me. What? Why didn't you notify us? I done been notifying you. Have you not been getting the messages I've been leaving with Morty's grandfather? Boom! Told you! In your face! He is ruining our child! Wait, what am I celebrating? Gotta relax. It's just a pitch. Gotta relax. This is Earth Radio. And now, here's human music. Hmm. Human music. I like it. With that, I give you your new slogan. Well, say something. Do you like it? Yes. You do? Yes. yes. So, I sold it? <laughs> I sold the idea? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. You like that? Now who's unremarkable? Are you hungry for apples? Are you hungry for apples? Ugh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, that's the best sex I've ever had in my life. I realize the Meeseeks are like the guys I went to high school with, willing to say anything to complete their task. Was I one of those guys? The difference is you didn't disappear afterwards. Well, I got you pregnant. Yeah. Give me those. What do you see? Whiteness. Pure whiteness. <laughs> You're my best friend, Jerry Smith. I love doing cocaine with you. Whoa, I love doing cocaine with you too, Johnny Deb. Any damage to this house or these children when we get back and n no more adventures with Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick, if my mom's the one who sang it, then you know it's pretty serious this time. That's, That's right. right. Wait, what? Oh, I get it. Regular pancakes are already shaped like flying saucers. Mm, I, I should be making you breakfast for putting up with me. You should be making us a whole restaurant. Nonsense. Dad, what's going on? We're going to Alaska. What? Why? It's nice there. Also, I broke up with Kiara and she didn't take it well and she wants to murder you two. What? Th th then why are we walking? I'm walking because I'm tired. You guys should definitely run. How lucky I am to be loved by such a simple, honest, simple man. Simple twice? <laughs> Hello? Hey, Jerry, it's Rick. Rick! Hey! <laughs> what's what's up? So listen, the heat's on and there's nowhere left to turn, so Morty and I are just gonna fly my spaceship into a black hole. What? Is that cool with you, dog? Rick, no! Morty! Got it. The call's coming from 
inside the house. Look at his face. Look you at his dummy. face. <laughs> I can't believe our daughter married you. Too easy. <laughs> what do you think? See, there's little R2-D2s where the George Washington should be. You know, Jerry, I'm not going to tell you that these will increase in value or even hold their current value. The truth is, you bought them because you like them. They have value to you. That's what matters. How long are you staying? Until we find your Rick. I found mine. I found mine. What's that dipshit doing out there? Are you friends with him? You know he eats his own shit, right? Oh my god, this is rich! I've got like t t 10 ricks to call right now. This trip has been a titanic failure. Get it? Oh! Draw me, Jerry. Oh, boy. Lucy. Wow. Uh, this isn't what I had in mind. But it's the perfect moment. We've been dreaming about this for 16 years. Uh, well, not like this. Not... not with you. <laughs> you're gonna draw me. Uh -huh. Then, you're going to me in that car over there. It's good enough. Move! Every weekend, Jackson and Roses have their titanic experience in this car, and I have to mop it up. The floor drops out to make it easier. But now it's my turn. We're going to get it nice and steamy in there. And I'm going to slam my hand on the steam and leave a nice handprint. And then you're going to laugh inside of me. No mess. No clean. Beth! Okay, well, which is it? Square my shoulders or keep my head down? Well, it's both. But most importantly, you gotta relax. You know what, Mr. Meeseeks? I don't think this is working. I give up. I'm sorry, Jerry, but it doesn't work like that. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. I have to fulfill my purpose so I can go away. Look at me. Well, make yourself comfortable because I suck. No, Jerry, I'm the one who sucks. Is it God? If it's God, do we get out of school? It's not God, Summer. She's allowed to think it's God if she wants, honey. Shut up, Jerry. Okay. The trick to cereal is keeping 70% of it above the milk. Jerry, get a job. Jerry, what is Taddy Mason LLC, and why is our phone bill $700? Uh... Hey, are you bored? Uh... Lonely? Just looking for a friend? Uh... Call me, Taddy Mason. It's only $1.99 a minute to talk. Uh... Sign up today, and I'll even call you on a regular basis uh... for just $1.99 a minute. Uh... That's a steal, because I'm a great pal. Uh... We could talk about sports or barbecue. Uh... Jerry, get a job. This is Jerry. So, your teenage daughter's marrying a bird man. And you guys down with that? <laughs> no pun intended. It's within spitting distance of the Milky Way. But hey, it's about the journey, not the destination. Right, Jerry? I want you to stand in the corner and face the corner and talk to nobody. Maybe I will. Oh my god! I'm a good person! <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, come on. We gotta go. You gotta come with me, Jerry. Rick? It's important, Jerry. <laughs> the fate of the galaxy rests on your shoulders. Let's go. Put some pants on. No, never mind. There's no time for pants, Jerry. I'll make you a pair of pants on the way. It's a Rick and Jerry adventure. Rick and Jerry episode. My hands are dry. My hands are dry. It's not what I wanted. Well, maybe next time you won't be such a dumb piece of shit and you can pick for yourself. That's not nice. What's that? Did you just have a controversial thought? No. That's what I thought, bitch. You little punk ass. <laughs> this is the best. You wanna... Nah, if the family sees me like this, they'll feel sorry for me. Which is no longer my signature move. Later days, amigo. Actually, I just realized I don't have my wallet and my bus pass is in there, so maybe... Stay strong, Jerry. I believe in you. Whoa! 
making really good money. You're not paying any rent, so you have plenty of disposable income. Oh, God, Todd. Please don't. I just need a few hundred dollars to get through the month. I have some interviews coming up. Something's gonna come through. I can feel it. I'm going inside. <sighs> I guess this is what rock bottom feels like, Jerry. Ow! It's within spitting distance of the Milky Way. Uh-huh. It's a bad picture.